Hello, in this video, we will learn the basics of options. So let's get started. Options generally consist of uh, two parts, calls and puts. So uh, we can learn the basics by using option chain. Uh, this option chain is available on uh, NSE website and in that option chain uh, we have few columns like on the left side we have calls call options on the right side we have put options and in the middle we have strike price we have various strike prices so I have taken the option chain of nifty nifty uh, which is a index of the top 50 uh, companies which are listed uh, in the share market so in this example we are taking uh, nifty and uh, trying to understand the basics of options so these are the various strike price suppose uh, now nifty is trading at let's say 11490 Let's say if it is trading at 11,490, so 11,490 is the spot price. Okay, we call it spot price, or we also call it as CMP means current market price, or LTP, which is called as last traded price. So these three are the same. Suppose Nifty is at 11,490, then what we say is 11500 which is closer to 11490 11500 strike price we call it as atm means at the money we call it atm means at the money so this is the strike price 11400 is also strike price 11300 is also strike price 600 700 these are all the various strike prices and for every strike price we have a call and put option so for 11500 we have call option and put option so 11500 i am saying that it is at the money because market is trading near 11500 so 1100 11 500 call means 11 500 call and 11 500 put both are atm both are at the money options okay so now we will see for call 11 500 call is at the money 11600 call is OTM which is called as out of the money we call it out of the money so mainly uh, options call or put they are of, uh, they are of three types at the money out of the money or in the money okay uh, the strike price which is closer to the uh, spot price we call them at the money which are away which are away from the uh, spot price we call them out of the money like uh, 11600 is out of the money 11700 call this is out of the money whereas 11400 call which is below which is below the spot price we call them in the money in the money itm similarly 11300 call is also in the money so you have to just remember these three at the money out of the money and in the money any op option call or put will fall in one of these three category okay now uh, we will consider for puts so we know 11500 put is at the money 11400 put will be out of the money 
uh, inputs we go uh, exactly opposite to that of calls here uh, strikes above 11500 they are out of the money and here in the put side strikes below 11500 will be out of the money like 11400 put will be out of the money 11300 put will be out of the money and the strikes above 11500 that will be in the money for puts so 11600 put will be in the money 11700 put will be in the money so at first you will think that uh, it may be confusing for you but if you find it confusing just go through it two to three times and uh, slowly you will become comfortable with it and it will seem less confusing to you so this is how we go every option will come in one of these three categories either it will be at the money out of the money or in the money and the process which we apply for calls exactly opposite process we have to apply for puts so this is the basic of options uh, we have calls and puts we have various strike prices and we have at the money out of the money and in the money three types of options so uh, just one uh, example to help you understand uh, just write in the comments what is the um, 1200 uh, sorry 12,000 call it means what is it is it in the money at the money or out of the money okay and I want you to write 11 100 put so I want you to write it in your notepad what is this is it at the money in the money or out of the money and same thing for this so that you have a practice because once you understand which options are at the money out of the money in the money then your understanding of options will improve so uh, this is a part of option chain and in option chain uh, we have various strike prices we have call side on the left put side on the right and in that one uh, we have one uh, uh, column for open interest in that the pending orders for the day are uh, means we can see the orders which are pending means which are initi initiated with which are not ended so that orders we can see in the open interest and this open interest analysis is very much important uh, in our uh, designing of our hedging strategies so this uh, we will uh, discuss in the next videos and one more thing is expiry options have expiry derivatives futures they have expiry they can have monthly expiry and options have weekly expiry also now like uh, the index options nifty and bank nifty they have weekly options also whereas futures they have uh, monthly options and in the stocks stock options also they are monthly so monthly expiry means like uh, suppose now it is october so october expiry means the last thursday of that month so suppose last thursday of this month there will be expiry in which the future contracts and the options monthly options they will expire means the options which remain out of the money they will become zero whereas the options which are in the money uh, they will have their intrinsic value so this is the concept of expiry and we have taken the example of nifty here so just we will recap what we have learned uh, options two types either it can be call or put and for call or put there are again uh, one uh, three types at the money in the money out of the money means every option it will be either call or put and it will be either 
<coughs> in the money at the money or out of the money and one more thing every strike price has a call as well as put like for 11500 strike price 11500 call is at the money 11500 put is at the money for 11700 strike price 11700 call is out of the money and 11700 put is in the money so for every strike price there is a call and a put and we should know that the call or put is at the money in the money or out of the money so if you find it uh, a bit confusing just go through it two to three times and become familiar with this terms and concepts so uh, i want you to write your learnings from this video in the comments and uh, in the next video we will learn the intrinsic value and the extrinsic value of options so let's move on to the next video